Well, lots of folks don't have to fill up anymore because they now have electric vehicles. We see a lot of them on the road these days. But what do people do with the batteries once they're no longer usable? KITV4's Robert Bond takes a look at a problem piling up in a story you'll see only on KITV4. It's a problem that's really piling up. Literally, what you're seeing are dead batteries from electric vehicles. They continue to take up space at salvage yards across the islands because there's nowhere else to send them. Now, these batteries can be recycled and repurposed. So what's the problem? We asked Rob Oakley, a Kalihi Valley resident who's been in the auto repair and restoration business for over 30 years. Because there's no place to recycle on the island and, and to get them off the island, it costs a lot of money per battery. Um, there's shipping restrictions, there's lithium ion batteries, there's fire hazards, they have special shipping containers that they got to be in. Be in. So, you know, it, it, it costs a lot of money to get those batteries off the island. Nobody wants to pay for it. As these EV batteries accumulate, so too do the collections of lithium, nickel, arsenic, and other toxic compounds. That should worry all of us as it does Oakley. The fire and the safety for our, for our islands, if these cells end up in the landfills, they break down, they catch fire. You can't put out a landfill fire. The islands are pretty much unlivable if that happens. Without a long-term solution, the salvage yards will reluctantly keep piling up these batteries until they run out of room. And on an island, that day is coming sooner than later. Robert Buon, KITV4 Island News.